Damn you kids, keep off my grass! Hi guys, how we doing? I hope you're having a great day today. Uh, for me it's been good so far, no complaints. Uh, look who I have with me today. This is uh, Viore, or is known in my world, um, Dr. Viore, and he's showing off his... Uh, so, Dr. Viore here uh, invited me to see his world. And we thought this would be a great time to... This is his Terrazilla. You want to tell him a little bit about it? or? Yeah, this is, world is based on the seed Terrazilla that I have used for my Seven Days to Die photo diary blog website. And uh, it's at a fairly mature level of development now. I'm at day 49. Um, so... And the horde has already come, so uh, I think we're safe from attack for the rest of the day. But uh, hopefully this not. Is, yeah, this is the base that that I was operating out of to, for that photo diary blog site. It's nice, right out in the plains. Good sight of zombies coming in. So over here, where I'm looking to the east, that is a a, a defensive tower. Is that where you fight from? It is now, yes. It, it isn't featured in the photo diary uh, because I built it after I finished that project. But, uh, yeah, it is where I fight from now. Right. So I don't really use this huge platform anymore except for uh, just sitting back, relaxing, and looking at the, the sights. Yeah, a little sun. Now this is the radio tower you built in your story, right? To go along That's with your right. storyline, yeah. Yeah. Nice little garden out there. Nice little garden. I'm gonna guys hold on a second. I wanna go into fly mode and kinda of get a view of the of the base from above. Uh Viori was so kindly to outfit me with weapons and gear and stuff, but um uh let me uh, go up here anyway right quick and and fly around a little bit of stuff here. Hold on. I just want to see what the base looks like from the air Yeah, you've done a lot of cobblestone work, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. Wow, that's amazing That's amazing. I like that green metal roof. Though. I love that uh, What'd you call that the flight deck on top of the house? <laughs> the uh, aircraft carrier. Yeah, deck. yeah, it kind of kind of almost makes you think of that don't it? Yeah, that's cool. I got carried away on that. I think it looks nice. I like it. I like it. Now, have you had a problem with zombies trying to dig in here? I have not. I'll no. be darn. That's amazing. And this exit down here that I see flying around, that's uh, that's your uh, main exit entrance? It is now, yeah. Right, the, right. Um, the architecture has evolved over time, and... Um, at one point I exited and entered through kind of a causeway or um, skyway over the over the uh, cobblestone wall but now I'm using this cement enclosed vault door tunnel that's cool and they've never attacked that they have never attacked that no now how's your luck been on your I'm still flying Viori I'm sorry if you've lost me but How's your luck been on the mines? Have you had pretty good luck on that? And well, the barbed uh, wire? What do you think? Yeah, I, I mined up the uh, circumference of the tower out here uh, for the first time prior to the Day 49 horde. It went very well. I used barbed wire to kind of enclose a little kill zone and then put, put the mines inside that and uh, the barbed wire seemed to act as a kind of, uh, I don't know, it, it seemed to bunch them up and get them oh, kind of walking in the same direction. And then once one of them found a mine, it was uh, pretty spectacular. Wow, well, yeah, and you're using air filter mines too. Those blow up really spectacular. Candy so, yeah, mines. Can see yeah. I've, I've got some damage here that I need to repair. Damn, there's a hubcap mine. Holy shit. Or holy, yeah, okay. holy poopies. <laughs> well, I mean, you just had the horde, so you're going to have some damage to, to repair. Yeah. Well, that's, uh, 
I'd like to figure out a better way to lay spikes out because this is a pain in the butt having to put down frames and then walk along the frames and put down the spikes and pick up the frames behind you. Right. <clears throat> and with the mines also, you know, putting down the frames and oh, yeah. Yeah. stepping yeah. around them, it, it's kind of a nuisance. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flavor your tire just a second and come out of fly mode, okay? Okay. Wow, that's pretty spectacular. Yeah, I like that. Now, is there a way into your tower from the top up here? Or am I just not seeing it, or? There, there is not a an entrance to that tower. Okay. Once I, yeah, once I quit um, doing the blog, um, I decided I'd go ahead and okay. experiment with this tower. So I've kind of been more in experiment mode rather than actual literal play mode. Okay. And I'm going to fly tower. again so I can get off of here then. Okay. That's sweet. Well, let's go back to the house then real quick and take a look at your take a look at your house. I'm just going to go in right here in the top, guys, and so we can go look at his, the inside of here, what's been going on. There you go. Now I won't fly off by accident. Well, you still got the king-size bed. Got oh, your yeah. lamp, yeah, yeah. Got a painting, that's nice. Okay, got a little little feel good to it, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you put your bed out here on the deck. That's kind of cool. Or your sleeping bag, I guess I should say. Right, yeah. Yeah. Nice. The breeze at night ought to be really cool coming off of the planes like that, wouldn't you think? Oh, yeah, it's very refreshing. Now, is your bathroom over here? Because I need to pee. Okay, yeah. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, thanks. Man, I'll tell you. All that coffee this morning. Yeah, I like how you've kind of kept this thing true. I would have thought... Uh, I've never gone quite this far on one. I've built up a couple of them, but... Now, where does this go? That goes to the tunnel where you get in and out. That's the main e exit and entrance. Does now. this take you to the mine too? You're working on, or? Well, it's it's not really a mine. It's it's just a a separate uh, forge down there. And okay. um, you know, I was going to build up some additional crafting down there, but just never got around to it. Well, it looks like you got plenty of ore to choose from, though, down here, too. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah there was quite a bit of lead, and... This is flagstone, I mean, isn't it? This is flagstone, yeah. yeah. I just I yeah. used this to flatten out those parts of the natural cavern that weren't level. I still like the look of flagstone and cobblestone, I think, the best. Okay, and then this takes you out. Now, mm -hmm. how, now the uh, the um, let me get a weapon in my hand because you don't open a door without a weapon in your hand. And did I load it? Yes, I loaded it. Um, that's why my neighbors don't come visit anymore. <laughs> uh, okay, bad joke. Oh, there's a little piece of dirt there. Step. Now the radio tower itself is it is it accessible or is it just uh, for immersion in the game? Well, oh, there largely, is a door, yeah. Yeah, it's largely to fit the story that I tried to tell in the uh, diary blog. I so like not this. Much in there, but, you know, if you follow the story, uh, you would imagine that it's full of batteries and uh, uh, transceiver equipment, amplifiers, and that sort of thing. Right, and that, that, that came had from to be the... located outside the base because they there was a damage of fire or lightning. Right, and that's from the AIs that you discovered in the in the anomalies. Is that correct? That's right. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, I just went back inside through the tunnel there, Viore. Okay. If, if you're looking for me, if, if you're going to come with me. I don't want to lose you or leave your door open, because then you get unwanted, unwanted pests. Yeah, I like... Uh, it's funny how the ore kind of disappeared right here in this one area. Of course, that's... I don't know, that may not be so unusual, but... Uh, 
It's nicely well lit. You got it opened up real nice, so it doesn't make you feel claustrophobic. I like that. Oops. Come on. Okay, then up here, didn't you have some place, or is it upstairs uh, in your bedroom area? There was a device that the AIs talked to you with or something. Was that up here? Right. The, they basically taught me yeah. how to make a, con a console that I could use to... Uh, operate the transceiver for the digital radio to keep in touch with them. Right now, does the TV still work? Since you, you know, do they send you any old, you know, uh, television shows like Beverly Hillbillies or Starsky no? But they, and Hutch? they do sometimes pipe in some some music for me. Oh, that's nice. That's yeah. nice. Yeah. Well, I know you have a, uh, an iPod in in our multiplayer, and I'm still jealous about that. But uh, I, I can live with it. I'm mature enough to. To understand i'm the guy who's got the lawnmower and you don't so yeah yeah that's true yeah well this is cool i mean it I, i'm glad we were able to do this before a14 and get a look at it to see how this goes along with your uh your storyline i really love the maple trees out here in the the plains area that's just i think cool yeah they they give it a, a certain uh comforting you know, effect as far as the way they sway in the wind. I, I find that very pleasing. Yeah, yeah. And they also give seeds back, which is nice. You can turn a major force in here. It would be co cool, you know, in some way if you could change the environment. You know, like what you're doing here, if you added more trees, more, maybe more grass would start growing, there'd be less, you know, weeds or whatever you want to call it. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. Or even like in the world, I'm I'm thinking about doing it's about Mother Nature. If you could get the skies to start clearing up around your base and the smoke going away, and so I think that's cool. But you know, anyway, thank you for the tour. I'm gonna. <laughs> anything else you want to tell them before I, I send us to the outro? I show them. Think I mean, that should do it. All right. Well, I'm gonna follow you in here, and actually, not. I'm gonna say goodbye from out here because I actually I'm gonna say goodbye from the roof because I like the view up there. I think that view is awesome. That's the worst thing about trying to do this series in the burnt forest is it's an ugly zone to be in that's gonna be my challenge right there well guys this is it this is a uh, dr. Viore's world that he's been playing and goes along with his storyline blog and photo blog of seven days to die well it's not all the world but it is the world at least one piece of it hey and again guys uh, well Viore you want to say goodbye I'm sorry Goodbye. all right well I'm going to sign out here, guys, and as always, please leave a like down there. You know, hit that thumbs up button. Leave us a comment. Let me know what you think of Dr. Viore's creative abilities here, and I hope you've read his story and enjoyed it as much as I have and viewed his photos. And uh, please subscribe if you haven't, you know, and uh, uh, share with your family and friends and on your favorite social media. And, and this is the Kier Mudge, Kier Mudge, and Kermudge, and signing off, guys. Have a good day. Bye-bye. <laughs>